The purpose of this video is to show you how you can access your ebook readings through SAM. Once you've logged into SAM, the first thing that you'll want to do is select your section if you have more than one section that you are a member of. To easily find your readings, you can click on Always Available Assignments. You see that you can filter by clicking the checks by which type of assignments you want to look for. So if you'd like, you can uncheck everything except for readings to make sure that you're viewing your readings. And as a CS 110 student or a CTS 60 student, you should have access to two ebooks. Discovering Computers 2014 Essentials and Microsoft Office 2013 Illustrated Introductory First Course. The Microsoft Office book is the same book that you have access to as a hard copy um, that you bought in the bookstore. I'm going to click on Discovering Computers 2014. If for some reason this window does not open, the MindTaps Engage Learning window, then you probably need to check to make sure that you do not have pop-ups blocked. So you can look in your browser bar to see if you see a red X or anything to indicate that a pop-up was blocked. And if you do see that, then you'll need to click on it and check Allow Pop-ups. But once you've opened your book, you can see that you have access to each chapter in your book. So you will just select the chapter that you need to read. Once you select the chapter, the first page of each chapter will be an index of that chapter. And the reason that mine did not go straight to the index is because it remembers exactly where I left off the last time I was reading chapter 3. I can select chapter contents to get back to the table of contents for each chapter. And that allows me to go directly to a section that I would like to read. Or I can read page by page by using the next page and previous page buttons. Also in your e-reader, you have access to a search bar, so you can search a term or a page number. You have access to a glossary. You have access to the dictionary, as well as a link to get back to the full book. You also have access to flashcards to help you um, study your vocabulary words for each chapter. And you also have the read speaker options. This will allow you to choose the speed and voice that you hear if you choose to have the book read to you. You have access as well to a My Notes section, which takes you to all the notes and highlights that you've made in the book. So as you're reading, you will see some words underlined and highlighted in blue. By hovering over, you can see that this is a clickable word. So if I click on it, it gives me the definition for that word. So all of your vocabulary words in the chapters, you can find the definition of simply by clicking. You also have access to change the text size. You can bookmark pages so it will remember where you finished reading. You can print your page if you need a hard copy. And you can also click the button to have this page read aloud. Self-service kiosks. A self-service kiosk is a freestanding term. If you would like to make notes or highlight, then you simply select the text that you would like to make a note about. And when you let go with your mouse button, you have the option to either highlight that text or add a note. And as you can see, all of your notes will be arranged on the sides of your pages. So now, if I select my notes, I'm taken to a notebook which has any bookmarks that I've made, as well as a notebook with everything that I have made a note of and everything that I have highlighted. Now, these sync with Evernote, which we will talk about in a, one of our classes. 
but you can see here all of the highlights and notes that I've made in my book. So that is how you access and use the ebook that is found in SAM.